What is up, YouTubers? It's me, Andrew. Drew Ponage, bringing you back some more Pokemon Fire and Omega. Uh, this is part 14, and for all of you guys out there who added me on Xbox, I love y'all. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to play some Halo 4 slash Black Ops 2 slash anything else I fucking feel like playing with you guys. So, let's go ahead and get on to back into this game. We have a Snorlax right here. I'm going to try and bring the mic a little bit closer to my mouth because I'd rather me be loud than you not hear me. So, continuing along, we have a Poke Flute. Which is going to be used to wake up Snorlax. Um, I'm not sure what level the Snorlax is going to be on. So, um, oops. You just play it and then you use the... Oh, well, I fuck. I didn't know you had to click on the Snorlax to use the Poke Flute. Because in the original game, you had to play it and then you click on the Snorlax. But anyways, level 40 Snorlax, T-Tar. I'm going to go straight into my Blaziken. I'm actually going to kill it because he gives a lot of experience and he paralyzes all of your things. So... Double kick with Blaziken, critical hit, hit it two times, and then Snorlax is going to go for Sleep Talk, which doesn't do shit, and then Blaze Kick should finish it off. That is the end of the battle. Great job. Snorlax calmed down and goes back to the mountains, and I might actually catch the other one on the other side of the game uh, in replacement for one of the Pokemon on my team because I really don't think I'm going to use T-Tar much longer. Might find a replacement for him. Anyways, there's a shitload of bikers right here. This is Cycle Road. They have a lot of um, poison type Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and rock slide some of the Grimers. Uh, pretty cool, I got a flinch right there. And my T-Tar grows to level 40. And Weezing is coming out. We're going to switch into. Let's go into Xbox because I got that Psychic. And that is just going to absolutely rape all these poison Pokemon. So, anyways, guys. Um, oops, I actually my 40. <laughs> I could have finished it off enough. Rock team or something. What have y'all been up to? Um, tomorrow morning I got work. Surprisingly, you know, your boy Drew Ponage is going back to fucking work tomorrow morning. But I'm still up tonight for you guys, making y'all an episode and um, trying to get. Um, I want to try and get a little bit more ahead in the game because I'm really uh, pumped up for like the the island part of the game, like how they added in Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green. They added the you know the Sevi Islands. And you get to go to all of them, which is pretty neat. And I'm really curious to see on how they designed the islands for the Fire and Omega game. Anyways, Thrash is doing great. Koji's defeated. Q-Ball got like, I think, five more bikers right here. But I'm trying to train up my Pokemon really, really high level. Because Koga's Gym, if you haven't been watching um, Hayden's uh, Pokemon Fire and Omega walkthrough, he's on Koga's Gym. And he's, I think, going to take on the gym leader. Um, very, very soon, but I heard it was a very difficult gym, and this Breloom is really fucking me up. Alright, Q-Ball, Luke, you're, you're done. Alright, let's battle this dude. Got a Biker Hideo, Hideo. Go Xbox, got Brick Break, which is gonna rape Cacturn, and then he goes for Ingrain, and I can go for one more Brick Break, so it's pretty good. I want a Metagross so bad. I think it's level 45, which is when my Meatang evolves. And I think we get Meteor Mash on like level 48 or 54 or something like that. It, it's, it's pretty high though. Psychic. I really, I really wish Psychic would kill Weezing. Up oh, critical hit. And I grew level 39. And Weezings give a lot of experience, which is fantastic. I remember, I remember back in the old days, I would kill Coughings and the Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island just to get some experience. It would give you like 700 experience every time you killed one. Weezing, Tackle, Rock Tomb combo, boom, and it doesn't even fucking kill the Weezing. At least it didn't go for self destruct, so. It's pretty good how it keeps going for Tackle. Biker Ruben, you are defeated, and we got one more biker chilling right here. They got like their whole little biker gang. You know, at the beginning of the Psycho Road, they're like, Yo, if you can't beat us, you're fucked. Get out of my Psycho Road. But pretty sure my team is strong enough to take on every single one last of these mother, you know, ass wipes. <laughs> All right. Also got my friend Andrew over. He's playing some Halo 4 with the saw right now, which is the best gun in that fucking game. That is a badass gun, Andrew. It's good, too. It's very good. So we're on Route 17, which is Psycho Road. Um, I'm actually going to battle as many of the people I can, I, as I find. I'm not going to go for like every single biker, but I'm going to battle the ones that I definitely come across. Um, Hariyama is very, very fat and very bulky, so kills my Xbox. I'm sorry guys, but I am not into those Nuzlocke challenges. I'm not, not into that. 
Water Pulse, Hariyama, and I'm gonna have to go for Slash because that's not doing enough damage. But um, I know Hayden has a Nuzlocke going on. Holy shit, a fucking Machamp. Water Pulse. Come on, come on, uh, for Alligator. <laughs> and I'm dead because Revenge is fucking powerful as shit. Voltage, gotta go for T-Bolt. Boom. Machamp is dead, and I grew to level 38. Awesome. That is why, my friends, we have an Electabuzz on our team. Because his special attack raises the fucking roof. Alright, we got a Muck. Gonna go for T-Bolt. Even though electri electricity doesn't even tend to kill Mucks that great. <laughs> but I think it'll, it'll, it'll work out. We got Sand Slash. I'm gonna have to go for Fire Punch. And that still does a huge chunk of damage, which is great. And Arbok comes out. We'll go for some T-Punch. And save some of our T-Bolts, which still does a huge amount of damage. Thunder Punch, and Arbok is defeated, and Electabuzz almost for level 39, so that's pretty good. Gonna go over here, there's a guy running around in circles. And we bumped into him. Alright, so Cue Ball, Roll, Raul has a Tyro. Gonna go for T-Bolt, smack that bitch in the face. Primeape's coming out. Gonna go for T-Punch, boom. He's got Focus Energy, boom on the T-Punch. Voltage grows to level 39, and wants to learn Psychic. Hell yes, let's get rid of T-Wave. Not gonna really want T-Wave anymore because if I'm gonna be that relying on paralysis, uh, Paralyzation, I can hopefully get one with a Thunder Punch or a Thunderbolt, so. Another Biker right here. Let my Voltorb electrify you, Nicholas. Nicholas has a Voltorb. Dude, that Psychic is gonna work awesome for the, uh, the next gem that I have to take on. Fire Punch and Psychic Combo. Awesome. Voltorb. Let's just go for Fire Punch. I want to see how much Fire Punch is. Damn, that did more than Psychic. And uh, I got Static, dude. Thunder Punch. Boom. That is it. Voltage. You are rocking my fucking world right now. Gonna go down. Another Viker. Alright. He's got a uh, Breloom. And I have Psychic. He has Mach Punch. That's a pretty damn good move to have in this kind of game. Mach Punch and Gen 3. It's a good move. I think the first uh, gen that Mach Punch came out was in a... I think second gen? Maybe? We got a Murkrow. Don't have Honchkrow though, because that was in Diamond Pearl. Right, Murkrow's defeated and a Sneasel. Did they have Weavile? No, they didn't have Weavile until Gen 4. So no Weavile and no Honchkrow. Bro, you better go pick some new Pokemon or get another gym because your team is not that good. Alright, so there's another biker right here. Looks like he'll be the last one before we um, head towards Fuchsia City and look and see what is up and going on out there. We got Thunder Punch and that is going to just rape that gold at. Crawdaunt, oh shit. Electabuzz is getting some experience. He is going for Protect, that's gay. Thunderbolts, boom, that the crawfish is defeated. And Biker William, I am satisfied, bitch. I am. Alright, so Route 18. I'm pretty sure you can catch some bird Pokemon down below over here. And um, we're gonna go battle on some bird catchers. I think they have like Dodrio and stuff, so Electabuzz should be getting a great amount of experience. T Punch, Dead Swablu. And Altaria and a Thunderbolt is a dead Altaria. Up oh, or not a dead Altaria. <laughs> T-Punch. Alright, sweet. Voltage girl level 41. Awesome. Biker Wilton. No, I mean Bird Keeper Wilton. Alright, he's got a Dodrio. I hope I'm faster. Yes, I am. Awesome. Cause that Dodrio ain't got nothing for my electric moves. And we got a dude. This is my turf, bitch. Natu. Is that a Natu, man? That's, that's old. That's Gen 2, bro. Psychic, the uh, Elite 4 will from Gen 2. Zatu is pretty strong, man. Alright, Spiro and a Firo. Hopefully he's got Firo. Spiro is dead. And a fucking Pidgeot. Wait, that's random. Pidgeot. 
It is done. Dude, the only reason the Altaria survived is because it's part dragon. Alright, sweet. All the bird keepers are defeated. We are in Fuchsia City, and there's a Pokemon Zoo. And there's Koga's Gym. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to go in there. Oh, boy. Alright, let me see what's in these houses real quick. I think somebody gives you something. Alright, so that's Bill's uh, Grandpa. Uh, Safari Zone. Gotta get the gold teeth for the Warden. Uh, this guy is the move to... Oh, yes. He is the move deleter. Hell yeah. Nobody needs to delete a move, though, so... That's actually really good. I completely forgot that the move deleter was here. Alright. Our Pokemon are going to get healed up. I'm going to actually go ahead and deposit Titar because I don't want to use him anymore on my team. Um, and I'm probably thinking about replacing it with a Pokemon from the Safari Zone. So that is what I plan on doing today. Unless I move Hitmonchan on my team. Which is going to work out fine. Alright, so we got Hitmonchan. Alright, let me see. We got Hitmonchan level 30. Hitmonchan. Uh, nope, nope, switch. We're going to put Hitmonchan. Uh, voltage is level 42. X jaws and let's get let's get me tang on level 40 okay yeah we got we got it good all right so the gold the warden is in there and the zoo i guess we can check out the zoo right now there's a slow poke and it does show you on um, the picture chancy voltorb um lapras omanites and a kangaskhan kanga kanga kangaskhan Oh shit, we gotta go to the Safari Zone. Alright, so we're gonna go into the Safari Zone this episode. I'm gonna actually go ahead and get try and get Sir. And we have to get the, the Warden's um, false teeth. So that's what we'll do. There's an item right here. A nugget. Pretty cool. You can get the nugget. There's a polywag. Why did I throw the ball at the polywag? I caught the fucking polywag. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, what's you, his name? Hayden. I'm throwing the balls by accident and catching Pokemon. Alright, so... I don't know where I'm going. Alright. Oh, there's an item right there. Safari Zone. Gloom! I will catch a Gloom. I will not catch a Gloom. Catch Gloom. Come on. Come on, Gloom. <laughs> Why is it still watching carefully? Just get in my Pokeball. I never throw rocks or throw the bait. I just straight up throw the Pokeballs because it doesn't fucking matter. It's a Safari Ball, and if it decides to not catch in the next two tries, I'm going to leave it. Or it can just run away from me. Alright, screw this. I'm running away. Run away, got away safely, don't want gloom. Steel wing, holy shit, that's a good move. We just got steel wing. I like the trees in the safari zone too. Gloom, get the fuck out of here. Okay, or that that works as well. Right, gloom. We got gloom. No, we don't need gloom. Okay. And there's a protein right there. We're gonna run across oh, there's a berry. Venomoth, that's pretty cool. Let's catch a Venomoth. Alright, cool, let's call, let's call, call it a Venomoth. I'm just catching a shitload of Pokemon in the, in the, in the forest. Alright. Can Venomoth learn fly? I don't know if it can or not. Alright, Safari Zone. There's an item down here. The Gold Tea, that is very important. So we got a oh, holy shit, a Heracross. Dude, I want this fucking Heracross. Yes! Alright, cool. Hold on. Hold on. I just got a fucking Heracross. Yes. Oh my god. What should I nickname this? I know what I'm nicknaming it. Andrew, how do you spell Juggernaut? N A U T. Huh? Alright. That is the last Pokemon on my team. I am so using a Heracross. Fuck anybody out there that says I should not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm going to catch an Eaterina. Oh, no, I'm not. 
I always hit the ball button by accident. Okay. 32 double team. Let's. Um, do I have a fishing pole? I'm curious as to see what I can catch. Alright, so you got a barboach in here, which means you can get a catfish, which is whiskash and barboach. Alright, you know what, barboach? I'm almost out of Pokeballs. Um, are you gonna come inside me? Wow, that was what totally what she said. Did not mean to say that. <laughs> I can't believe I just fucking said that on camera. I was really fucking gay. <laughs> Alright, so we get HM3, which is Surf. Definitely going to use that on Frolligator right now because that's an awesome move. On X-Jaws. Um, I'm going to get rid of Water Punch. And I got Surf on my X-Jaws. Awesome. We got Fly, but nothing wants to fucking fly. On my team, nothing can fly, so... You know, it's kind of depressing, but kind of just whatever. All right, come on, Nidorino. I would love to have Nido King. Just saying. I'm just going to leave. I need to get out of here. I am so lost in the Safari Zone. I'm lost. I can't find my way out. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Life alert. <laughs> Life alert, bitches. <laughs> Sweet, I got a Weeping Bell. Dude, I'm catching random Pokemon. I'm literally watching my friend play Halo, and I'm sitting here running around the game. Um, <laughs> catching random Pokemon as they appear. I already got Gloom. Okay, I got two Glooms. I got a boy Gloom and a girl Gloom. I can have baby Glooms. Alright, Weeping Bell, I don't want you. Okay. All right, so we can build. Oh shit, a Scyther! Let's catch me a fucking Scyther. Ah, uh, Scyther runs away. That's a Pokemon that does not want to be caught. Scyther is awesome. Oh, a Tropius! Holy shit, dude! I can fly on Tropius. Yes, awesome. I just got something to fly with. Yes. I'm going to nickname him Banana. Because he's got bananas hanging from his chin. Banana. Alright. We got somebody that we can fly with now. Poliwhirl. Catch a Poliwhirl. Come on. I can, I can evolve it with the Water Stone. Oh, I'm out of Safari Balls. Game's up. All right, we got our fair share. Guys, comment, like, and subscribe to your boy, Andrew, Drew Ponage, and I will see you guys next time. I caught a shitload of Pokemon, which I'm actually going to go check out before I end the video. All the Pokemon that I just fucking caught. Holy shit. <laughs> I caught a lot of Pokemon, I have to say. All right, move Pokemon. Let's, let's definitely put Heracross, Juggernaut, in my team and get rid of... Uh, Hitmonchan, but I'm also going to take the uh, item that Hitmonchan has and give that to Heracross because Black Belt is awesome to have on a Heracross. It will boost his fighting ability amazingly. Giga Drain, Shockwave, Attract, Stealing, Can't Learn anything. Does I want to see what my Heracross knows, and if it knows Brick Break, it does. Okay, that's the main thing it needs. So it's got Brick Break, Counter, Takedown, Fury Attack, it needs Mega Horn, and it needs a few other moves, but I can tweak that later on. Guys, comment, like, and subscribe to me, Andrew, Drew Ponish, and I will see you guys next time. And we will take on Koga's Gym. Koga's Gym, which is going to be hard. Like my dick. See you guys later.